Hi, this is Randy Richmond here at the Midwest Ag Expo at Gordyville again, and I am in a very cool booth here. And with me is Cheyenne Lauks with ADP Drone Pro and Ag, Ag Drone Ag Drone Pro Ag Drone Pro, and it is it truly is just that. They're drones focused on agriculture. And Cheyenne's going to tell us a little bit about these drones. And these are not toys. These these are not these are not the buy one at home. They're I believe around eighteen thousand dollars a pop, right? Yeah, that's Th thereabouts, right? Close, yes. Right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this, and uh, and and then you're going to show us kind of the product that right. the farmers get. It's a very valuable uh, product for the farmers. You can see how your crops are doing, how the field is evolving through the season, and and give you a chance to react before things get out of hand. So Cheyenne, tell us about it. So it's uh, we're an agricultural uh, surveying company, which uh, what we'll do is we'll fly over the, the farmer's crop, we'll survey the acre size, and then the uh, plant health of your crop, uh, allow you to see the anomalies that are in the field and let you spot the bad spots. Um, I think we all know that if you've got a thousand acre field, you're not walking in the middle of it to find where all er, the missing parts are, right? right? So this gives you that bird's eye view where you can see it. Uh, we'll have the regular RGB uh, cameras to show uh, your everyday image that can zoom down to the leaf of the plant. Uh, we'll have our NDVI image that will show you uh, good, bad, healthy parts of the plant, right? So if you look on there and at the imagery and you see, well, it looks like I've got something in the northeast corner of my crop, um, you can go out and ground truth it, get a soil sam sample, talk to your agronomist, and see how you want to treat it. The other uh, benefit of looking at these is you can now plan more efficiently and effectively how you want to go about farming. Right? Rather than, I call it the, uh, the prey and spray method, right? Uh, is I'll spray my whole field and hope it works. Or I could be more efficient with more detailed information and say, this section looks great, but I need to focus my time and efforts over here to make sure that it gets its full potential, right? I may not need to buy as much spray or chemical treatments, or I might have a bad spot that I know I can't do anything with and not gonna waste my time. Potentially I can save money on treatment, whether it's chemical spray, um, maintain uh, irrigation or fertigation issues, uh, leakage in the, in the fields, um, and I'm much more effective and efficient with not only my money, but also my time, which is very important as well. That's, yeah. Let's talk about the technology a minute. A little while ago I asked Cheyenne, I said, can we get an image of the drone in the sky doing the, the, the demo? And he says, well, there's a problem with that. This is so fast that they can't capture it in the air and it goes, it flies across patterns around 400 feet up. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, so what it'll do is it'll lift up like a rocket ship um, to about 150 feet. And at that point it will then uh, fall on its belly and take off like a fixed wing plane. And it rotates and circles up to about 380, 400 feet to reach its flying altitude. And that's where uh, it has a pre-laid out um, design of the field we're flying on our controller and it goes back and forth pretty much like a, you mow your lawn right and it would take the the images and the pictures and return back to its same spot and it's uh, 45 miles an hour you know, per se depending if you got some good wind gusts going one way right um, but yeah it does uh, it does do it in a fast efficient way and allows us to get into um, areas that are um, it might be tighter uh, compared to uh, a drone that will land on its belly right. and allow us to fly faster than, say, a quadcopter and cover more ground at a, at a quicker amount of time. Yeah. We're going to reposition the camera for just a second. I'm going to ask Cheyenne to show you some of the product from the drone so you as a farmer can appreciate what you'll be able to see. All right. So what we have here is an RGB image of uh, the first flight of a field for one of our clients that we've done. Um, this particular field is tobacco, um, but it correlates into any other field, whether it be soy or, or corn. Um, what you're going to see is uh, as the, the plant sprouts, you can uh, get the image of do you have any, any empty missing spots that you might need to go back and replant. Um, you can see the border around here. We can also get the accurate 
acre size. Um, there's benefits of even on the insurance side of, of knowing how many acres, if you lease land, you can accurately make sure that uh, you have the right acres that you're, you're paying for, right? Um, the right uh, acres that you're getting, uh, paying for a premium for, right? Um, as we go here, you can see of the same dates, same field, the NDVI image, and it shows the health of these plants here. Now, with NDVI, it measures the level of light reflecting off the plant. And every plant will reflect light differently. And as it grows, uh, the, um, the plant will actually reflect more. So you can see its next stage, the RGB image, where the plants are healthier. Now, Ariel, you can also see, I don't know if you can pick up on the striping. That's not always visible to the naked eye from the ground level. So you can see uh, in corn, you get nitrogen streaks that you may not be able to see, that you can detect from uh, above. On the same dates, we have the NDVI image, and you can see the same streaking, and also where holes might be developing as well. So if you need to go fill back, um, if you need to put a focus and attention to uh, maybe any diseases, disease areas, that getting a jump on it as soon as possible to treat before it spreads uh, is invaluable. Right? Uh, it's the, the third and final date of this particular field that we flew. Uh, you can see as the plants are getting thicker, you're green. Now with tobacco, um, towards the end of the season, um, they tend to dry it out, right? And so you can see if it's uh, timed right, uh, will it burn up? too fast or is it on their schedule what they how they want to go about that right um, allows you to go out there and say well look I need to go focus my efforts here right and you can see based off this image alone the uh, areas that have disease and, and uh, sick across the whole field versus I'm sitting at ground level uh, I, I'm just going to hope you know, I spray on that area, right? Informed decisions with more in, uh, detailed information. It's really great, Cheyenne. For more information, your website is? Yeah, agdronepro.com. Thank you, Cheyenne Laux, for helping us here today understand better how drones can help farmers in the agricultural community. And uh, this is Randy Richmond again with WITY Radio at the Midwest Farm Ag Expo.